Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Tladwa and in this video we are going to write a C program to find the sum of the diagonal of a square matrix. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular brace we will write standard input output dot h header file hash include in angular brace we will write console input output dot h header file and now I am going to write wide main function curly open brace and here I am going to declare all the necessary variable before using them in a program. Now I am going to write the data type int and I am going to declare a two dimensional array called a. The first subscript size is 10 and the second subscript size is also 10. Next I am going to declare i and j both of these two are indices. Next I am going to take row and column and I am going to take sum is equal to 0. Let us write a CLR SCR function which is used to clear the screen. Now we will ask the user to enter the order of matrix in printf function. Here I will write enter the order of matrix. So backward slash n and the double quotation mark and put semicolon. Now we are going to receive input from the user using scanf statement. In a double quotation mark I will write format specifier percentage d and format specifier percentage d and the double quotation mark put comma and here I am going to take ampersand of row ampersand of column and put semicolon. So after receiving the value for both row and column we have to check that whether the entered number are equal or not means whether the matrix is square matrix or not square matrix means number of rows must be equal to number of columns here we are going to check the condition using if here I'll write r is equal to c if this is true then the body of this particular if statement will get executed. So here I am going to write printf statement and now we will ask the user to enter the elements. Backward slash n and the double quotation mark and put semicolon. Now we will allow the user to insert the elements using for loops for i is equal to 0 i is less than r and i plus plus take one more for loop for j is equal to 0 j is less than column j plus plus now we are going to use the scanf statement to receive the elements so scanf in a double quotation mark will write percentage d comma ampersand a of i and j and put semicolon now after receiving this, so we are going to print the information. Here I am going to write printf statement. So sum of the diagonal is backward slash n and the double quotation mark and put semicolon. So let us write for loop for i is equal to 0, i is less than rho and i plus plus curly open brace for j is equal to 0, j is less than c and then j plus plus. Now we will use one more condition over here. So why? We are going to explain that one later when, once we take example. Here I am going to write if i is equal to equal to j. Now let us write sum is equal to sum plus a of i j if the subscript both of, both the subscripts are equal then sum is equal to sum plus a of i j will get executed so for this opening brace we'll write closing brace next i'm going to write printf statement and here in a percentage d that is format specifier put comma i'm going to print the value stored in sum and put semicolon and now for this particular if opening and I'm going to close this. If this condition is false, if the number of rows are not equal to number of columns, then uh, the finding out the sum of the diagonal 
is not possible so for that we have to write else part so what we are going to do here is i'm going to write else printf statement and in the double quotation mark i'll write matrix is not square diagonal sum is not possible and end the double quotation mark put semicolon and this is the last statement we'll write get ch and for this main function opening correct so here we have written the main function for this opening we have to write the closing after get ch so now let us uh, take an example and we'll see how exactly this works so here i'm going to write output once we compile and run the program it will ask the user to enter the order of matrix here i'm going to write enter the order of matrix so just because of this backward slash n cursor comes down to the next line so here for row and column i'm going to enter for example three rows and three columns here both row and column are equal here in this condition r is 3 and c is also 3 hence this is true once this condition is true then the control enters into the body of this if statement now it will ask the user to enter the elements here i'm going to write enter the elements so just because of this backward slash and cursor come down to the next line so what am i going to do here is i'm going to enter 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so once i enter all the elements in the matrix form it will be mapped in a memory something like this so three rows and three columns whose index number starts from 0 1 2 0 1 and 2 now you can see here we have inserted all these elements using this scanf statement now after entering all the elements it is going to print sum of the diagonal is so it is going to print sum of the diagonal is so here just because of this backward slash cursor come down to the next slide so we are going to study how exactly this particular piece of code works for i is equal to 0 j is equal to 0 so here i is pointing to 0 and j is pointing to this index number 0 that is 1 correct yes next we are checking the condition if i is equal to j in the first iteration the index of i is 0 and j is also 0 so hence this condition is true once it is true it is going to perform sum is equal to sum plus a of ij so what was the value of sum here you can see sum for the first time it was set to 0 so what it is going to print here i am going to write sum is equal to sum for the first time it is 0 plus a of ij a of ij is what a of 0 0 a of 0 0 consisting of value 1 0 plus 1 is 1 1 is stored in sum again control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 i is 0 j is 1 i is 0 j is 1 here i is 0 j is 1 which is not equal hence this particular statement will not get executed again control transfers back to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now it is 2 2 is less than 3 so hence it is true so here it is going to check i value is 0 and j value is 2 which is not true once again the control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now it is 3 3 is less than 3 no condition fails once the condition fails the control transfers to the outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i is 1 j is 0 so i is 1 j is 0 which is not equal hence this is not going to execute i is 1 and control transfers to j by incrementing the value of j by 1 now j is 1 i was 1 j is also 1 so it is equal hence it is going to print here you can see i is 1 
and here j is also 1. So this i value 1 and j value 1 consisting of what? 5. So here it is going to print sum is equal to sum was what? Sum was 1 plus a of 1, 1. A of 1, 1 consisting of 5. So it is going to add 1 plus 5 that is 6. 6 will be stored in sum. Again control transfers to the inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1. Now j value is what? It is 2. 2 is less than 3. Yes condition is true. But here i value is what? i value is 1 and j value is 2. Hence this particular statement will not get executed. Again control transfers to the inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1. Now it is 3. 3 is less than 3. No condition fails. Once the condition fails then the control transfers to outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1. Now i is pointing to what? 2. Now i value is 2. j is equal to 0. Correct? So here i is 2, j is 0 which is not true. Hence this particular statement will not get executed. Again control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1. Now j is sorry i is 2 and j is 1. So here it is 2 and 1 which is not equal. Hence it is not going to execute. Again control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1. Now j value is 2, i value was 2. Now 2 is equal to 2. Hence it is true. So it is going to print sum is equal to sum plus a of 2, 2. Here sum was earlier it is 6 plus next a of 2, 2. a of 2, 2 means what? Here j is pointing to 2, i is also pointing to index number 2. So a of 2, 2 consisting of value 9. So it is going to add 9 to 6. So it will become 15. So 15 will be stored in sum. Now again control transfers to the inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1. Now it is 3. 3 is less than 3. Condition fails. Then the control goes to outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1. Now i value is 3. 3 is less than 3. No. Condition fails. Once the condition fails then the control comes out of this looping structure and then it is going to print the next statement. What it is going to print? It is going to print the value stored in sum. What is the value stored in sum? 15. So 15 will be printed. So here it is going to print sum of the diagonal is. In print of this it is going to print 15. 1, 5. Let us suppose in the second run. So it will ask the user to enter the order of matrix. So I am going to enter the order of matrix. Now I am going to enter 2 rows and 3 columns in this case here in a scanf statement. It will ask the user to enter the order of matrix. Now I am going to enter 2 rows and 3 columns. Here we are going to check whether row is equal to column. No. Condition fails. If this condition fails, then the directly control transfers to what? Else part. So what is present in the else part? It is going to print matrix is not square. Diagonal sum is not possible. So it is going to print matrix is not square. Diagonal sum is not possible. So let us execute this program. For that I will take you to my laptop screen. Here you can see I have already written this program in Turbo C++ compiler. Now we are going to compile this program by pressing Alt F9. It is showing success. Means there is no syntax error. Now let us run this program by pressing Ctrl F9. Here it is asking the user to enter the order of matrix. Now I am going to enter three rows and three columns. Now it is asking the user to enter the elements. I am going to enter 1, 2, 3, then 4, 5, 6, then 7, 8, 9 and then I will press enter. Here you can see it is showing sum of the diagonal is 15. 
so it is adding 1 plus 5 plus 9 so these three elements are present in the principal diagonal element so here it is showing sum is equal to 15 so let us run this program one more time and now we are going to enter different order of matrix here i'm going to enter two rows and three columns so it should show the error message matrix is not square diagonal sum is not possible i hope you understood this program if so please write me in the comment box as understood thank you